morning. This morning we're going to go to the Tokyo Fish Market. Mm -hmm. They say the market every morning has 2,000 tons of fish from water to fisherman to restaurant. 2,000 tons. That's every day. We've missed the uh, tuna auction this morning. That was at 5 o'clock in the morning, but you need to be there at like 3 a.m. just to get one of these special visitor vests just to attend it. I'd probably go to the tuna auction on my own one of the mornings. And there's a couple of things we must buy as well. Toothpaste being one. Um, I want to get another tripod for the camera. This one's knackered already. Maybe a microphone because as you've noticed in certain stages of the video, the sound's been absolutely terrible. So I'm going to try and solve that by getting a microphone elsewhere, a wireless one. Leaving the room now, let's go. Smile for the camera. Turn it. Turns the other way. Yeah, but... Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. You're very good. Thank you. A rainy day in Japan. I'm gonna have some Japanese breakfast in Jonathan's. Jonathan's. It seems so American though. Are you gonna go Japanese then? Should try a Japanese breakfast because that, while it looks like an Irish breakfast, they're actually bad. You won't. You might need the um, the, the bacon, or you might need sausage with the egg and bread as well. What's on the sandwich? Crispy cabbage, ham, and egg. That looks nice, doesn't it? It's 1,200 calories. Are you serious? Yeah. Coconut and mango water. Genius. So refreshing. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. For our first breakfast, we're not going to try and be adventurous. We don't want to spend the day either hungry or getting sick. So we've got something a little more close to home. And Brennan's? That's what you call a slice of bread. Thanks for the breakfast, Jonathan. It was lovely. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. We're now at the Japanese fish market. They seem to be selling a of everything, like herbs and fruit. So your regular bananas and apples and homegrown stuff. Mochi, it's awesome. It's nice as it feels like a, a scene from a, a movie. The streets are just so narrow. Raw fish eggs. I think it's tuna. Big slabs of tuna. Looks good though, right? I've got to show you the, the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's a man 
don't know what cover. I'm not even going to explain it. I'm just going to show you. I don't understand what's happening, how it's happening, but it, it's happening. What in the name of all that holy is going on? There's no wind, by the way. Absolutely no wind whatsoever. No wind at all. So, got drenched, getting coffee, and then uh, I need to get a SIM card for phone so I can use the internet. Also need to get a tripod as this thing is absolutely banjaxed, missing a leg. So, and it's also too small, so I've known that for a while. That's what she said. We're absolutely drenched, so it can also help if we could uh, dry off. Cars are awesome here by the way. I was told by a certain someone that they're not so good. I'm mentioning any names. It's because we're in the city. Oh hey Lauren. Smart ass. Um they have G Wagons everywhere. They've got You're a fucking G Wagon. GT86, Nissan Silvias, Maserati, Quattroporte. Porsche 911 turbos, just to mention a few of, oh, bless you sir, just to mention a few of what we've seen, so. One of the things I love about Japan, public toilets everywhere, but public toilets especially, absolutely spotless. I was able to get changed and didn't have to worry about bumping into a pee covered toilet seat, touching a dirty floor, so much nicer. The sun is out. So I don't know why, but they've just closed off like one massive street. The street that we've been walking up and down and having a look at for the last little while. So like, as you can see, it's a pretty big street. It's all completely closed off, just for us. I can't see the Sunglasses now. Here we go. Let's go, uh, let me use all the buses, and trams, trains, metros around Japan. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to come in handy. Look, Toyoso. We both say the same. Just get on this. Sure, it's an adventure, huh? That sound is a, like a flying beetle. It's like a, about that size. Oh my god, it's like literally flying around the place. Pull it open there. Pull it out the awful. this store where how you pay is the weighing scales and show us the t-shirt and you get your price minus the hanger this is like 400 yen I came across these awesome shirts so like they have this it's like a mechanic shirt and it has the name Mike on it then no word of a lie I came across this one so I gotta get it. I gotta get it. It's meant to be. 
I'm going to get some real Japanese food this time, not copping out like this morning for breakfast. Tonkatsu Wako. There's a robot lady. We're leaving here now and going off to Pallet Town. Welcome to heaven. This is insane. We're in Japan, right? And I want to get a tripod for the camera. And I cannot find a single electronic store, camera store, phone store in Japan. Oh my god, are they American underwear? I've been looking for them forever. This store is absolutely bonkers. Anything and everything here, it's all weird. I've got Pikachu underwear and American flag underwear. American flag underwear, I've searched high and low. Pikachu underwear, quick turn them down. And they got like a theme for everything, so they got like a Simpsons, we got Batman, we got Disney, Minions, we got SpongeBob, SquarePants, he's here. Star Wars, Pokemon, yes, yes. This couple here just cannot get over how beautiful this car is. It's square lines, obviously, hold some level of attraction. What a joke. <laughs> this kid is getting to drive. This is a childhood or a dream for this man, or a dream come true. All his life he's wanted to sit in such a beast. Most kids dreams of Porsches and Ferraris. No, not old Kawasaki here. Toyota cereal boxes for him. We're off to dinner, early night, no more filming. So good night.